What up guys, we're back, alright, with another console, Widowmaker Guide, or Widowmaker Guide, because this is going to benefit you as well if you're on PC. Alright, basically, what I'm teaching you guys in this video is, well, I'm showing you guys my Widowmaker warm-up in the practice range, okay? Now, there are two reasons why I'm making this video. The first reason why, I make, why I'm making this video is because I do go to the practice range with Widowmaker so that I can, of course, you know, get a feel for her. You know, I want to charge up my shots. I want to do all of that good stuff that you, you know, usually do with Widowmaker. Get the headshots, uh, grapple shots. I want to practice all of that stuff before I get into an actual game. Now, some people, you know, some players out there, they say things like, oh, you know, the practice range, it doesn't help, blah, blah, blah. I don't fucking care, all right? Kepri, the best Widowmaker player in the world, uses the practice range with Widowmaker from time to time. If he does it and he's the best Widowmaker, it definitely just goes to show that we got to use it as well, all right? Anyways, with that said, the second point uh, of, you know, the reason why I'm making this video is because maybe you are new to Widowmaker, all right, and maybe you want to practice in the practice range a little bit, but you don't really have any idea of what are some exercises that you can do. This video is going to show you exactly just that. So with that said, let's get right into it. As soon as the match starts, I just would like to take out these targets. And basically, the point, you know, th this exercise that I'm doing right now, guys, it's not to land shots. It's not about landing shots. Your main objective with this exercise is that you want to get your shots to 100. All right, you want to fully charge up your shots because if you don't charge up your shots, well, basically, um, yeah, you know, you're going to be pretty useless. Okay. So with that said, again, you know, you want to charge up your shots to 100 and you want to see if you can land uh, the headshot. So I pretty much took out almost all the bots, if not all the bots uh, in the area. And then I'm going to come back again and I'm pretty much going to repeat the same thing about five times or so. Again, you want to get a feel for Widowmaker's uh, rifle charging up all the way up to 100. Now, the next thing that I'm going to practice is short range with, I mean, medium range with Widowmaker. So basically, I'm going to stand here. I'm going to let my shots, of course, charge to 100. And then I'm going to see, uh, you know, the headshots that I can get. And this is all about landing your shots. Okay, but if you miss a shot, don't fucking worry. Like, so many players that talk about the practice range, you know, they basically say shit like, oh, yeah, you know. Um, if you miss a shot, don't worry about it. It definitely applies in here as well, okay? If you miss a shot, it's all good. So basically what I like to do is, for the first couple of minutes, like for five minutes or so, I'm just gonna stand still and I'm just gonna, you know, try to get some headshots, you know, pick these guys off. Pick these guys off. And then I'm going to move from left to right, and then I'm also, try, you know, I'm going to try to get some headshots on them. Remember guys, you want to have your your rifle charge up to 100 charge, all right? If you don't have your rifle charge up to 100 charge, you know, you could make the mistake on quick play to just spam shots, like, like this, for example. Right, and this is something that you don't want to be doing with Widowmaker. I see a lot of newbie Widowmakers doing that. It's definitely not a good idea. And of course, if you want to get started with Widowmaker, I am going to have a console Widowmaker guide or a Widowmaker guide on getting started with Widowmaker. Some of the things that you should do, some of the things that you should not do, and some of the things that you should go for. So with that said, um, now that we got that out of the way, when it comes down to medium range, now I'm going to practice long range with Widowmaker. I actually got this uh, from Kepri. So what you want to do is you want to move on these platforms, guys, and you just want to shoot these bots. And you want to shoot these bots without moving, like, you know, with Widowmaker, like while aiming down sight and as you guys can see this is basically going to put you uh you know you're, you're going to be constantly moving and you're going to be at long range from the bots now you, usually you want to do this i don't know it usually depends you know sometimes when i see that my aim is off i want to do it for about 10 minutes or so so when my aim is pretty good i like to do it for five minutes or so all of that good stuff okay but for the most part i don't really use the practice range that much anymore just because i mainly go to the practice range to get a feel for widowmaker but when i first started playing widowmaker i did do like 30 minutes of practice range every time i was going to get in a quick play match all right because i did want to you know go into a quick play match basically uh you know being able to do the best that i can and the practice range did help out a little bit okay Anyways, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to practice short range with Widowmaker, okay? So basically, uh, yeah, this uh, area is pretty simple. Uh, what you want to do is you want to be here in the center of the map, all right? And you just want to go for short range shots with the training bots. Okay, where the fuck are these cunts? Okay, there they are. 
So yeah, basically the reason why you want to shoot them at short range is because sometimes you might be at ground level and you know there might be a Genji, there might be a Tracer that you have to shoot, all of that good stuff. Now of course Genji movement, Tracer movement is completely different from these bots, but again it doesn't fucking matter. In the end it doesn't even matter because remember you're getting a feel for Widowmaker, okay guys? That's the important thing here. So anyways, after you do that for about 5-10 minutes, again I used to do 30 minutes of Widowmaker warm up. You know, every single day when I first started out with Widow. So you want to take your time with these. You don't just want to do them just to do them, okay? I would say five minutes for each exercise would actually be pretty good. Okay, now that we pretty much do uh, short range, we want to do basically what I like to call the horizontal and vertical shots, okay? So basically, these are just shots where you're going to be uh, aiming down at the bots. All right, and you're just going to be shooting them from, of course, the high ground. And the reason why you want to do this is because, see guys, with Widowmaker, and basically with Hanzo as well, it's pretty easy to get headshots when you're in a horizontal plane, like for example, right here at ground level. I just missed my headshot when I said it was easy to get, well, it doesn't matter. But when you're at a high, when you're at the high ground, it's actually harder for you to get headshots because, of course, you're uh, taking a look at the horizontal side of things and the vertical side of things. Okay, so that's why, you know, I want to go into this high ground and I want to, of course, uh, get some kills, okay? Anyways, after you do that for about five minutes or so, uh, we're going to be just doing rapid kills, okay? So basically, you just want to kill these bots. Quadruple kill. Quadruple kill. You want to kill these bots, and uh, basically you want to get it until you get a sex double kill. Okay, so yeah, that's basically what I do. You know, when I get my first sex double kill, I basically just leave the training range. If I don't get one, uh, basically I just leave the training range as well because, of course, I want to play some. Uh, there we go. We got the sex double kill. Basically, because you know I want to play some quick play. So if you don't get a sex double kill, don't worry about it. It's all good. But again, guys, this, uh, you know, practice range training with Widowmaker is just for you to get a feel of Widowmaker, specifically when you're starting out with her, you know. The, when you get more advanced with Widowmaker, the practice range really isn't that great. Uh, because, of course, the bots move in predictable locations. Anyways, after that, I do my last uh, exercise, and that is, of course, grapple shot. Actually, no, I'm missing one more exercise. But yeah, whenever I have the grapple, I just, you know, shoot people uh, over here. I'm going to shoot the bots. And whenever I have my grapple, I'm going to go for a grapple shot. So I have my grapple already. I'm going to wait for these bots to actually appear. There we go. I'm going to go in the air and I'm going to see if I can get a grapple shot. And I'm going to miss terribly at it. Okay. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to do... Uh, I'm going to do what I like to call sort of like the mobility training. Okay. Wait, and by the way, this is something that's probably not necessary. I just, I just made it up. But anyways, basically, you guys want to kill these two guys over here. And you want to use your grapple. All right. Basically, you want to kill the boss as fast as you can. So I'm going to jump over here. I got nine seconds of the grapple left. All right. Right here. There we go. And then I'm going to get the grapple and I'm going to come up here. I'm, I, actually, you want to come up here, okay? And then, of course, you want to shoot the bots, all of that good stuff. And then you want to make it back here, okay? And basically, you want to do that as fast as you can. And you want to use the grapple for movement, all right? Like, you, this last exercise, you want to use the grapple as long as, I mean, as fast as you get the grapple, okay? Because basically, this uh, exercise right here is pretty much getting you used to uh, the grapple and reminding you that, of course, you do have a grapple that you can use so we're gonna come up here and then we're gonna shoot the training bots that are left this guy this guy and this guy right here and that's it we're done we go in here and then we repeat that's my Widowmaker uh warm up in the practice range i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did drop it a like subscribe to join the sabaya cartel and check out the overwatch guides playlist in the description for more guides like this peace out see you in the next one